now that you are incorporated, what's next? As an incorporated association, you have responsibilities. These responsibilities are legislated and aimed at protecting the members and the committee of the association. If you are having trouble with any of your responsibilities, please contact the NT Government Association's compliance team for advice. Each association is required to lodge documents within specific timeframes. If you lodge your documents outside these timeframes, overdue fees may apply. Here is a quick checklist of items to keep in mind. Constitution. Any changes must be lodged and assessed for compliance with the legislation prior to the changes taking effect. This must be done within 28 days of the meeting at which these changes were approved. Public Officer. Any changes must be lodged within 14 days. Financial Statement. Each association is required to lodge annual, audited financial statements of accounts within 28 days of the meeting at which they were approved. The NT Government Association's Compliance Team website provides a template, checklist and the auditor requirements. Annual General Meeting. The first AGM must be held within 18 months. You are welcome to provide the minutes to the NT Government Association's Compliance Team for filing purposes. All subsequent AGMs must be held within five months of the end of the Association's financial year. The minutes of these meetings are provided with the financial statement. To be eligible for funding, grants and sports vouchers, your Association is required to be compliant. To gauge your compliance, the NT Government Association's compliance team will determine if your constitution, public officer and annual financial statements are lodged within the required timeframes and are deemed compliant with the legislation. If you have a pending AGM, the Association's compliance team may contact you to confirm if it has been scheduled. As a legal entity, you can enter into contracts, buy land, have mortgages and loans. Any asset over the value of $25,000 which has been given to you by the Federal or NT Government or purchased using funding or grants is prescribed property. Be aware that this means you cannot sell it, give it away or destroy it without approval by the Minister or funding body. Now that you're incorporated, you might want to consider whether charity status would benefit your association. If you are registered as a charity, you are able to request an exemption from lodging financial statements with the association's compliance team. You may also want to consider if an Australian business number is required. Please discuss this with your accountant or with the Australian Tax Office. It is recommended that the association ensures that each committee member is provided with information relating to their role and the expectations of that position, a copy of the current constitution and any relevant bylaws or policies. Each committee member is responsible for ensuring that the association remains compliant, that record keeping is maintained, the constitution followed and that members are safe to participate in the association. For more information on starting an association and becoming incorporated, please keep watching or chat to the association's compliance team at associations.compliance@nt.gov.au. Visit www.nt.gov.au forward slash associations.